Today is Savings Challenge Day. We get to step our envelope savings challenges as well as our savings challenges for debt and sinking funds. So let's get into this video. Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel, The Almost Organized Hour, where we are on a mission to get organized in our finances through budgeting, cash stuffing, and savings challenges. If that is something that interests you, please stick around. All right, so let's go ahead and count this cash. In the meantime, I will let you know that I am feeling a little bit under the weather. I am trying to kick whatever is going on, um, but we're having a bit of a challenging time this go round. Normally, if I get sick, it's just for like a day or two and I'm able to just kick it, but this one is not trying to go away. So um, bear with me as my voice may sound a little scratchy and I may have to take a couple pauses to drink my tea. Okay, here we go. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 121, 122, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, and 29. So, excuse me, $129 that we have to work with today. Um, I know it's an odd number. It just happened to be what we have to work with and look you guys we finally have an a buck so i'm excited about that so let's go ahead and put this money in the cash tray all right so today we're going to start with our blessed to be a blessing savings challenge and this is a freebie that can be found in the um link <laughs> there's a link in the description box where you can pick up this freebie if you would like it along with some other freebies that i have um given out in times past so we're going to go ahead and put in um, five dollars into this savings challenge today i wanted to go ahead and start off with this one just to make sure that um, we had enough money to contribute to it as we are getting closer and closer to the holiday times and i want to make sure that i have enough money to be able to be a blessing to someone who may need it around the holidays and if you hear my children in the background they are indeed playing in close proximity to me and so that is just what happens when you have children all right, so we're going to go ahead and put in the $5 that we are saving for this one. I don't have an actual $5 bill. Um, I don't have much change, actually. So we're just going to see if we have change in the envelope already. All right, so let's see if we have change. We do. So we can take out a 5 and put in the 10 and we have let's just go ahead and count it up so far we have 20 30 35 40 45 dollars that we have saved so far in this blessed to be a blessing savings challenge and this is going to be great once we finish this challenge that we can use it towards blessing someone all right let's go ahead and start off with our october birthdays at the beginning of the sinking fund savings challenge finder and you guys, surprisingly, there are quite a few birthdays in the month of October. I didn't think that there was it. Um, there were so many. I had so many in September that I did not think that it would be that many in October. And let me tell you, you guys showed up in the comment section to help me save because you definitely let me know about your birthdays and the family birthdays that you have in this month. So I'm so excited to go ahead and save for those. So. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. So we had Armani over at Armani Budgets. She had a cousin whose birthday is in October. Hey, Armani girl. All right. Then we have Lisa over at Lisa Grateful Me. Thank you so much for stopping by, Lisa. I appreciate it. Her son's birthday is in October. We also have Jessie Cutler. I believe I'm saying her name correctly. Hopefully I am. And her birthday is in this month. Then we have Sassy. Um, Pisces saves her birth her sister's birthday was in this month and let's see we also had um, the budget princess princessa her and her daughter share a birthday month how exciting for that and then we have um, K currency has a sister and a great nephew who um, share this birthday month so, and then we also have um, Divine Savings Co. 
she has her son's birthday is in this month as well so you guys look at all of these lovely birthdays and i do apologize if i miss anybody please let me know in the comment section if your birthday is this month and i miss shouting you out please um feel free to let me know so that i can definitely stay for your birthday okay so let's count how many we have so far Okay, so I believe that I started here. So that's one, two, three, four, five. No, here, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, yes, seven. There should be seven icons that I color, and then that's $14 that I get to save with this savings challenge. So how about that? Oh my goodness, you guys. So let's go ahead and put in um, 15 and see if we can grab a dollar out of here. And I see a dollar sitting right up front. So we can go ahead and swap this out, grab that change and pop it right in here and then put this money in here. So that is so exciting, you guys. I think October might have beat September for the um, most birthdays that we've been able to save for. So that is super exciting. And again, we are still in the month of October. So if you have a birthday this month, feel free to let me know in the comment section. All right, next up is the Shop Small shout outs. And last week I forgot to show Fiona's um, Etsy shop in the video. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll that so you all can see it. And I had saved $2 for um, shouting out her shop or saved towards shopping at um, shopping small shops. So this savings challenge, shop small shout outs can be found as a freebie in the link as a link in the description box um, below and feel free to check it out. If you have an Etsy shop or for the creator shop or any type of small business that relates to budgeting material or anything really that you want to, um, people to know about, feel free to drop it down in the comment section. Leave the link so that we can go check you out, favorite your shop and let you know that, you know, we like the products that we see there. If we can't purchase anything, at least it'll help out, um, your shop by having people to favorite it. It helps out with the Etsy algorithm. I'm not sure about the other platforms like Ko-Fi or for the creator but if you have shops on those platforms too please feel free to link that in the description I mean, link that down below in the comment section so we can check out your shop and so we have divine savings co she mentioned that she has a new shop on etsy so we want to try to show her some love and go and favorite some of the items that she has on her shop if you like what you see so i'm going to grab my um erica pen here and jot down her name for you guys it is divine Savings Co. And as I mentioned before, she has a shop. Um, she not only has a shop on Etsy, but she also has a YouTube channel. So you can feel free to go check out her channel. And I'm going to go ahead and color in this icon to save the two dollars. Yeah, I think it's so important that we try to support our small businesses. I know that it is fun to go shopping on Amazon on Prime Day and um, hitting up those big box stores and things on Black Friday, but it's also great to be able to um, highlight some of our small businesses um, because we're, we're out here trying to, you know, uh, make a few dollars as well. So it's definitely um, important to shop small when you can, you know, that um, most of us are on a tight budget or we, you know, we have funds that are dedicated towards other things. But if we can shop small, let's try to shop small. Um, to support our brothers and sisters who are trying to make it. All right, so let's go ahead and add in the $2 for this. And um, again, I mentioned it in previous videos. If you have a small shop, please feel free to leave that um, in the comment section. We would love to be able to save for your small shop and to shout you out um, as well. All right, so let's go ahead and we get to use the A Bucks tracker finally. Oh my goodness, I feel like it's been months. Okay, um, this A Bucks tracker is from uh, Reinventing Renee, um, the Budget Nerd Co. on Etsy. And let's go ahead and color in. Let's color in um, one letter A. Okay, and we get to put in this A. And for all those who may be new to um, collecting A bucks. So each 
one of the U.S. dollars has a, I believe it's a U.S. dollar as well as the $2 bill has a little symbol here with the letter in it. And it lets you know where this particular banknote has been produced. And this one is produced in Boston, Massachusetts. And for whatever reason, it is quite challenging to um, get Boston to flow these over <laughs> to where I am. Um, so I have not been able to find many of them, but every time I get one, I'm able to save it. And these um, A bucks typically go towards our debt. I know this is in my sinking fund savings challenge binder, but that's just because um, I had printed it on the um, smaller one. Originally it was in my debt binder, but I swapped it out for a different challenge. But these A bucks that I collect, they're all going towards debt. Okay, so next up is the Christmas savings challenge from Rocks over at Rocks Budget. So let's go ahead and grab that. All right, so I was supposed to go um, this way and down and over, but I ended up going like this and thinking that I had to save for both this one and this one when really I was just supposed to go like this. And I realized that as I was editing it, silly me. Okay, so um, we're going to go the correct way now. We're just going to keep going this way and we'll start here at number nine since number eight is where we left off. So let's go ahead and roll the dice. So we have four and one, we have five. So let's go one, two, three, four, and five. And we have another one of those um, obstacles to cross. So let's go ahead and, all right. Uh, let's go ahead and we might as well just go ahead and do it. So we'll just, we'll cross off this obstacle. We've already crossed it. So let's go ahead and um, save $10 for this one. I know Roxy, you said that I didn't have to do it, but I feel like it's a part of the rules of the game. So I want to make sure that I, I'm, I'm doing it. Okay. So here we are. All right. So we are going to save $10 to cross the obstacle. Or am I supposed to save it if I land on it? Or am I supposed to skip it and go to the next one? Oh my goodness. I'm so confused. <laughs> Okay, so wait, so we did one, two, three, four, five is where we landed, but we weren't supposed to land on it. We were supposed to skip over it. So then I actually am supposed to color in the eight, I think, and then save 18. All right. Is that what we had to save the last time? I feel like that's what we had to save the last time too. So I'm just going to go ahead and color in this eight and we'll see. I am messing this game all kinds of up and it's really not that complicated of a game. I don't know why I'm struggling. Okay, so I went here one, two, three, four, and five is us to cross this. I had to pay ten dollars, so that's what I pulled out the ten dollars, and eight dollars is where I landed. So then I just need to grab another ten and then get two dollars back. So let me do that. I was able to make change and I have the ten and let's see five, six, seven, eight. So we can put towards this one and then put those two dollars back and let's see i wonder how much we have saved in this challenge so far let's see if we can straighten this out and count it up so so far we have saved 10 20 25 30 35 40 41 2 3 43 dollars that we have been able to save towards christmas so far so thank you very much fox i appreciate it all right let's go ahead and do our match and scratch game where i have my little special guest um, with me today we have the match and scratch saving challenge game that i'm playing with my little special guest and shuffle these a little and then we will yeah. set it up okay. all right little one let's go ahead and start first go ahead Let's flip over a card. Ooh, you got the owl. All right. Let's see if we can find the owl. Hmm, where could it be? It's the mystery. I think so. Don't peek. Just flip it over. Oh, that's not right. So let's go ahead and flip it back. Let's go ahead and get a running total going. So we're going to go ahead and save. Oh, I forgot to say we have $30 that we can contribute towards this game today. So let's see. We have um, uh, $2 so far. So let's go ahead and add that to there. $2. Oh, no. Excuse me. We have 
2 plus 2 equals 4. So we have $4 that we are adding to this so far. So let's go ahead and flip these back over. And now it's my turn. So let's see. Um, we'll go the elephant and... Ooh, so we get to add another four dollars. So here we go. All right, now it's your turn. Oh, so we don't have a match. So we get to save two and three. We get to save five dollars. All bye, right, bye, 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 bye. let's flip it back over. Wait, where's the other one? All right, now let's see. Mama. We have this one and this one. Mommy's got a match this time. Woohoo! So we get to scratch and see what Mama. we can save. So let's see. Is the matching game over? No. We get to save ten dollars. All right. So, da, da, da. Da, da, da. so we get to save ten dollars with this one. So plus ten. All right. We are at twenty three dollars so far. So let's go ahead and flip these back over. Flip it over. There we go. All right. We haven't. Oh wait, no. We found a match, right? So we get to take the match. So let's go ahead and grab this and grab that. All right, so I get to take the match and sit it over to the side. Okay, so now we have your turn. So go ahead. We had the owl and, and the other owl. Yay! <laughs> so you get to scratch the match. Okay, what number is that? Number five. All right, so we get to save five dollars. So let's go ahead and add five dollars to our number, and we are at twenty-eight. So let's go ahead, and you get to take your match. Yay! All right, so so we so you get to flip over one more, okay? And then let's see if we can find the match for the elephant. It no, that's the koala. Right, so plus five, and that leaves us with 33. And so we have a $3 IOU for this game. That was so much fun, sweetheart. Thank you so much for playing with me. You did so great. We both got a match, and so we tied this time. So that is wonderful. All right, so we were able to save $33 with that savings challenge, but we only had 30 so we need to go ahead and put in a $3 IOU for this game. Such a fun game to play and to share with your children or just if you want to just go ahead and play it, um, you know, by yourself, that's fine too. So let's go ahead and write down this $3 IOU that we owe for this game. And again, that game can be found in my Etsy shop and it can be played in two different ways. It can be played as a matching game or it can be played where you just stack the cards like this and then you take and flip it over and then you scratch and then save the amount that you have there. All right. All right, next up is this wonderful savings challenge from Champagne over at Champagne's Corner. And we are using this savings challenge to help us to save for our children's school things like field trips or teacher appreciation gifts and that sort of thing. And we only have a few more left to scratch. So let's go ahead and do that. Five dollars that we get to save with this one. Okay, so let's grab this five and we are almost done. We only have two more on this one and then we can go ahead and add this to our children sinking fund. So that's exciting. We already did blessed to be a blessing. Next up is the breast cancer awareness savings challenge and we are um, saving one dollar, excuse me, two dollars for the heart and one dollars for the breast cancer awareness symbol and then whatever's in the actual amount there excuse me so we're going to go ahead and go down to 
Um, we're going to skip this $10 today and we're going to go ahead and color in the pink heart. And as I have said in previous videos, please make sure that you are getting your screenings and that you are going to your annual visits so that you can um, uh, be aware of what's going on with your body. You can also do um, self exams. There are websites that you can go to. There's pamphlets in your um, physician's office that teach you how to do self exams. So feel Please feel free to do that because um, early detection can be life changing. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab this $2 and we're going to go ahead and put this in here. And this can be found um, as a freebie also and as a link. Uh, the link is in my description box for this challenge as well. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to our um, envelope savings challenge. I'm excited about that one. Okay, so I apologize for the lighting. I am losing sunshine here. Um, I don't know if clouds are covering the sun or if we are about to get some poor weather. <laughs> but I do apologize for the lighting shift. Um, so let's go ahead and put in, we're going to put in $20 into uh, envelope number um, 60. I believe that is the next highest one that we have left. Um, it's envelope number 60. So we're going to go ahead and put in twenty dollars towards this one and we're just gonna we, we are almost done with this i mean this slow and steady um it's definitely taking us a little while we started this in january um but we are going to get this done guys and i'm super excited about it um perhaps next week we could have enough money to just go ahead and finish it off i mean we only have what 55 um 40 is that it? No, and 45. So we have 45, 55, and then 40. So those are the only numbers that we have remaining. So it's quite possible, you know, might get a little windfall and be able to go ahead and um, step those remaining envelopes. And I'm, I'm excited about that. So we shall see if next week will be the week that we can finally finish this savings challenge. So I will keep you all posted. You'll check that video out next week. And we will see where we are. So let's go ahead and put in the $20 towards number 60. All right. So we are moving right along with this. And then once we have additional money, then we will just add it to this envelope to get this envelope complete. And for all those who may be new, um, this savings challenge is dedicated to my mom's trip. So um, that's what I am saving this up for. I know it is um, not a significant amount of money, but it's definitely something to help us move the needle towards um, contributing to that. So let's go ahead and transition to our debt envelope savings. I mean, our debt savings challenge binder. All right, here's um, here is the debt savings challenge binder. And in this one, the first challenge that we have is the debug challenge. And you know what? I honestly forgot to even look to see if we had any debugs. Um, this has been one of those kinds of weeks. And I just, I didn't even think about it, honestly. So we don't have any remaining. So I'm hoping that I didn't accidentally stuff one somewhere else. But I'm sure somebody will let me know in the comment section if I did. Or maybe I'll see it in, when I'm editing the video. So we're going to move on past that one. That is from um, Jesse over at Jesse Budgets, if you all would like to get that. Um, next is our savings challenge from Tracy over at Golden Girl Budgets. And let's go ahead and scratch to see what we can save with this one. I don't know which is better up here, probably. Uh, let's see. Ooh, one dollar. Thank you, Tracy. <laughs> All right, let's see. We have one dollar. This crispy J buck. Okay. We're going to go ahead and put it towards here. And we are not going to scratch another one because um, we have other challenges that we want to hit. And so that worked out really great so that I can put more money towards my envelope savings challenge. All right. Next up is It's Raining Tacos. And this is from Rebecca over at Here to Their Journey. All right, Rebecca. Let's see here. Let's just go here. All right. These challenges are being kind to me today. So let's put in $5 for this one. And we have a 10. Let's see if we can make change um, in this 
dating challenge. It looks like we have a bunch of tens. Oh yes, a five was peak. It was hiding back there. So let's grab this five and put that over here. And we are making some great progress with this savings challenge. And we're going to count this up later because I'm going to try to keep moving forward while we still have some sun. And next is Liz's challenge from Liz over at Liz and Less. And this is the cupcake savings challenge. And let's see where we are with this one. So let's go ahead and put in, um, let's put in a $10. <laughs> yes, I've already committed. I've pulled it up. Okay, we're putting in $10, a $10 um, cupcake liner. And we're going to grab the 10 and put this in here. And you know what? I think I'm going to pull out. Let's see. Let's grab. Let's grab two tens and make change for this 20 and then put the 20 in there along with the 10. Okay. I hope you all were able to follow that. Just wanted to make some change for that 10 for that 20 that we had so we can make this money stretch a little bit further with some of our other challenges. So next up we have the football savings challenge and this savings challenge was in collab with my husband. Um, and so let's go ahead and roll to see what we can save for this. Okay, so I forgot to pull out the pen as well. All right, so let's roll and see what we can save. All right, so we have three. All right, even the dice are being kind to me today. Everybody wants me to go ahead and put extra money into the envelope, my 100 envelope savings challenge. So thank you so much. We're going to go ahead and put in, um, let's see if we have any change. And so Tiffany over at Cash Locks and Life, I believe that's the name of her channel. Tiffany, I'm sorry, don't kill me. Um, she is doing a football savings challenge. And let me tell you, that girl, she knows her football, okay? So she has been doing so well with, pre with predicting who is going to win um, those football games. So go ahead, feel free to go check her out. All right, let's go ahead and put in $3 into this one. We only have a dollar. Let's see if we can make change. We, we're on a make changing mission um, today. Next time, I'll have to see if I can get some lower denominations so we don't have to make change throughout the video. So let's see. <clears throat> All right. I was able to make change. Um, let's see. I'm sorry. I'm starting to feel a little low energy. I'm trying to pick this up, <laughs> pick myself back up. Okay. Here we go. One, two, and three we have um, is what we're putting into the football challenge. And so that's, we are making good progress with this one. And uh, uh, for all those who may be new, we are saving up for um, a the oh, what are we saving for? <laughs> we are saving for um, the su a Super Bowl party or a game day party or something like that. Um, and if we decide not to do those things, then the money will just end up going towards debt. All right, so there's that. All right, now on to our envelopes, a hundred envelope savings challenge. So I'm excited that we're able to put in um, some extra funds into this, but we are going to save some funds for. Uh, Lizzie's challenge as well. So let's go ahead and we are working on number 91 now. How exciting. Okay. So before, let's see. I think this is the money from envelope number 92. So let's go ahead and count it up really quickly because I didn't put it in the envelope. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 91, 92. Yes. So this is number 92. Let me go ahead and put this in an envelope. All right. So this is number 92. And at the time I didn't have an envelope made. So that's why I didn't put that in there. And so now we can go ahead and start number 91. Okay, so let's see how much we have left to contribute to this. So we have $3 here and we need to at least save a 10 for Lizzie so we can put in the $30 into this one. And each one of these envelopes is worth $5. Um, and this is a way that I am able to do the envelope savings challenge in kind of like a low budget sort of way where I'm just tracking, you know, little bits at a time to equal up these larger amounts. So we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So we're going to go ahead and color up to here 
and this lets us know how much we have left to fill in um, as we're getting our bits. So it's in $5 increments. And so if you have a hard time um, getting the uh, the finances to be able to really complete the um, 100 envelope savings challenge in a traditional way, you can definitely feel free to break it up into bite-sized pieces, um, $5 increments, $10 increments, whichever works best for your budget. But the goal is just to save. And this savings challenge is definitely um, one, a long-term savings challenge. This is a slow and steady for me. Um, it has taken us uh, almost all year to get to this point, but we're making progress. Like each time we're able to add a little something to this envelope, to these envelopes, um, we're making progress. And so I'm grateful for the opportunity to be able to add anything towards this challenge and grateful for the progress. Now, some people, um, they will use, they will fill up the larger numbers or excuse me, they start at the top rather and they will fill up the smaller numbers because it's easier for them up front. Then they will empty out those envelopes and then stuff the larger numbers. I just wanted to start with the bottom numbers. I knew that as we get closer to the holidays, it will be harder to be able to get to these um, larger envelopes. So that's why I wanted to make sure that I stuffed them first, get the hard part out the way first, right? Right, Melissa, get the hard part out the way first. So we get these bigger numbers out the way first and then work our way up. So that is the plan and that ha this is how we have been doing this so far. And we are almost complete with this roll once we finish this particular envelope. And so hopefully um, in the next couple weeks, we'll be able to move on to the 80s now that we're done, almost done with the 90s. All right, so let's go ahead and put this away. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the low income savings challenge book from Lizzie over at Busy Lizzie Budgets. All right, so this is a, such a beautiful savings challenge from my dear friend Lizzie. I forgot we had this $8 IOU. I'm so glad that I saved this $10, okay? <laughs> All right, great. All right, so that was that worked out great. I completely forgot about that. All right, let's go ahead and scratch to see where we are. $8, oh my goodness, okay. So we owed eight and we have to save eight. Let's see, that means that we need $16 and we definitely do not have that. Um, that means it's another IOU. So let's see how much we have. We have 10, 11, 12, 13, we owe $5. So let's cross out this eight. And you know what, I think I'm gonna stick this on the front of the binder so that I can remember. And we owe $5. I am. I'm going to stick this right up front after I put this money in here. And so cool that it's an envelope. Okay. And we're just going to stick this right up front so that way I do not forget to owe this $5. All right. One last thing before we get out of here is I have a piece of happy mail from Rami over at Budget Paparazzi. And it is one of her wonderful savings challenges. All right. It says beyond grateful so let me take out the slip all right I just wanted to um, take away the order packing slip so look at all of these wonderful stickers that Rami gave me okay this says beyond grateful thank you so much I love this so cute thank you so much happy savings Rami all right look at this cute little avocado oh and this little puppy paw and this cute giraffe how adorable oh and mommy you threw this in for free okay so this is the one that i all right, so this is what I actually ordered from Rami. It's so cute, these little kitties. And then, it, of course, her challenges has a backside as well. And this is, um, and this you can save fifty dollars, and it's so adorable. And I, so in this saving challenge, Rami had given me, 
given to me as a freebie. I truly appreciate it, Rami. I love seeing your times two or times seven saving challenges on other people's challenge, um, channels. So thank you so very much for gifting this to me. I really appreciate it. And you could save $100 with this one. And the numbers are um, between two and nine only. Um, before they are multiplied times two and then there's a cute savings challenge that you can color in on the back so thank you so very much Rami I truly appreciate it and for all those who have not done so already please feel free to go check out Rami's channel Budget Paparazzi check out her Etsy shop I believe it is also called Budget Paparazzi and favorite some things that you like that you see um, and feel free to show her some love I I know that she would greatly appreciate it. Excuse me. <laughs> all right, you guys have a wonderful, wonderful week. I hope that you all are doing well and that you have a had a wonderful weekend. And um, until next time, bye.